Hello again, Pietro here, and today, another unboxing and review. I need to stop hitting the box, that's loud. And yes, we have our special guest. Come here, short hair. Are you the GSP? German short hair pointer? He, uh, what can I say? He loves the camera. So today, Logitech, I, I know, hi. And uh, today we're unboxing a Logitech keyboard, huh? But you rather just go for a walk or just continue to get attention. Okay, I, I will take you on a walk right after this. I promise. I, I know, I promise. Okay, hang on. Hang, hang on, okay. I'm pulling out a knife. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> okay, and here we go. So a little different angle today. Okay, remember, cut away from you. And inside we have stuffing. You know, we could use these the other day, right, Sasha? I'll save these. Invoice and dun da da da. A keyboard. Hey, <laughs> quite on set. <laughs> so uh, this is the MX Keys, the Master Series by Logitech. Uh, this came recommended by a friend of mine. We'll just call him CF, AKA Cartoon Fortress. And we both needed keyboards for work and work said, sure, we will get new keyboards. The last time I got a new keyboard was, it's been a long time. Uh, I'll show you a couple of the keyboards I've been using. This is one I bought about five years ago by Logitech and it was working great, but the Windows key stopped working. And then I think the enter key over here, and I don't remember dropping it, but as far as the solar panel, it still works. If I turn this off, turn it back on, look, it still works. But uh, yeah, it was out of warranty, so Logitech support said there was nothing they could do. But still, really good keyboard. And then this is another one that I got through work. This is a Dell wireless keyboard, which works great. Not in love with the way it types, it's all right. So let's change the view here. Oh nice, that little pull tab. So again this the this is the MX keys. The Master Series by Logitech. Logitech. Nice packaging. I like the matte black. Oh. Wow. Okay. Nice. Let's see what's in the small box. A little uh, multi point dongle. So it says Logi on there, kind of their new brand. And if we open up this small box, good things come in small packages. Yeah, we don't need that. But yeah, is this video sponsored by Logitech or are you affiliated with Logitech? Uh, that was Paramount Kid in the background. No, this is not a sponsored oh. video. And no, I'm not sponsored by Logitech. But so, do you own any shares of Logitech or Star? No, no, I don't. So my this, channel's still mm -hmm. yes, my channel's still growing. Thank you, Paramount Kid. So USB A to USB C, nice little branded Logi cable here. So this is a rechargeable keyboard, and that's it. So now, ooh, I like the nice wrapping paper. Ooh, and a business card. That was really loud, I apologize. Ooh, I like it. So each key is dimpled, if you can see that. So there's a slight little 
circle area for your fingertip. So let's compare it here. The quick, yeah. And I like the spacing. Let's see if it comes charged. And yes, it is a backlit keyboard. Nice and level. So we'll compare it to the Dell here. Oops, forgot to close my knife. I'm so sorry, Scoutmaster Fred. About the same size as this Dell something something keyboard, which doesn't have, it's a Dell. So we'll turn that off. So the first reason I bought this is one, I like how it's backlit, because sometimes I'm working at night. Two, it's a Logitech. Logi, and I've had good success with Logitech in the background, and I've never had a wireless backlit keyboard before. The other reason is I like how you can quickly sit, switch between computers. Uh, sometimes I'll be working at a desktop or a slash server or a VPS station, and then I'll switch to a laptop, and now I can quickly do that with these hotkeys here. So really cool. I like how it's pulsating. So here's your little business card, quick setup, master three, wireless. Well, that is, hold on, reading glasses. MX Master three, advanced wireless mouse features, next generation mag speed. So there is a matching mouse that goes with this keyboard. You can see it right there in the picture. So the MX Master 3. All right. We have perfect stroke keys, noise, comfort and stability, smart illumination, backlit keys light up at the moment your hands approach. Whoa. So there's like a sense. Oh, nice. Okay. Flow across multiple computers, noise. Dual connectivity via Bluetooth or the uh, USB receiver. That is my dog in the background. Hi. Hello. Do you want to say hi? Okay, come here. Do you want to play with the ball? Who do you want to play? Do you want the ball? Do you want to go get? That's just fun. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay. Do you, do I, oh, watch out for the drive on. Oh, watch out. Oh. Okay, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, last time, last time. Ready? Ready? Whoa, ouch! Watch what will happen, my gun. Go get it! Okay, that was fun, right? Oh! Okay, okay, sit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do some research about the keyboard. I'll finish reading, I'm gonna charge this, and I'll show you how easy it is, or how difficult it was, connecting it to my laptop. And I'll see you in a bit. Here we go, with the MX Keys Master 3. Normally my keys light up when I do this, but check this out. Backlighting, low battery. I just got the battery warning, and it was turning red. And then for some reason it's no longer red. Let's open up the app and then it should tell me exactly what the percentage is. So to do that, you just click on the start button. This is Windows. And then just type in Logitech. And then it should open up Logitech options. Open up that app. Let's see where to go. MX keys, add devices. That's weird. It doesn't actually say, I mean, it's showing me kind of a low battery, but I know where it is. On your keyboard, just type in start and then type in Bluetooth and then it brings up all the Bluetooth settings. MX keys, 5%. Now why in the world doesn't the app tell you that? That doesn't make sense. And the last time I charged this keyboard was February 18th when I unboxed it. So I'm gonna follow my own advice and whenever possible use OEM. This is the cool OEM uh, USB-C to USB-A cable. Cool little switch right here. Click, now it's off. The port's right there, they make it really easy. 
and I just happen to have a USB-A port on the side of my laptop. If we open up Bluetooth, so it says MX keys 0%, it's probably because it's charging. The time is 1900, so seven o'clock. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'll just uh, leave it charging and I'll come back in a half an hour and we'll see what we'll do. But still, 18 days I think is pretty good uh, given the fact that I use it about 50 to 60 hours a week. And I really like the fact that it glows so I crank up the brightness quite a lot. And then let me dim the light so you can see how awesome that keyboard lights up. You know, it's funny how much dust you see when you're zoomed in on the keyboard. Anyway, I've tried to keep this keyboard really clean, but when I do these close-up shots, it's kind of funny. Then it quickly lights up, and then I'll turn the brightness to max. Hello again. Uh, that took... Sounded like I said, hello, Logan. Hello again. <laughs> uh, I finished charging it and it took longer than I thought to charge. It was at 5% last night at 7 p.m. And then at 7.28, I unplugged it and then relaunched the Bluetooth and it said 50%. I'm like, okay. So then I checked again at eight o'clock and it still said 50. And then finally I just forgot about it and came back at 2216, almost three hours later, actually over three hours later, and then it finally went to 100%. And I made a small error. It didn't last 18 days, it lasted 16 days on the battery life, but still really good. And normally I keep mine to, fat, to uh, max brightness. So I'll unplug it. I was doing a, another test this morning. That light right there in the corner, which I just turned off, when you plug it in, when it finishes fully charging, that will glow solid green and let you know. And also you can open the app and it will show fully charged. Anyway, nice to know that I only needed to charge it about every 16 days. Hang on a second. You know, I, <laughs> I remember that I was still wearing the same shirt from yesterday, so there goes the continuity, but it is the following day. What do I like and dislike about this keyboard. Well, if you just noticed, that was really subtle, but as soon as you wave it over, it lit up. It's working just fine. It doesn't do that when it was plugged in for some reason. Number one, the sound. The following dog jumped over. Anyway, you can hear that. I like the sound. It's not too loud. It's not too soft. Number two, the texture. I like the texture of the keys, and then I also like the pressure. It's, it's nice. Uh, number three, the light. The auto on, auto off, great. It has seven different light brightnesses for the keyboard. So when I click down, I can turn it completely off and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now it's fully bright. That's pretty cool. I mean, who doesn't like illumination, right? Number four, the sensor. So within five seconds it turns off and as soon as I wave my hand over the keyboard, so the sensor is over in this area and then as long as you're typing, it stays lit up. Number five, easy integration. I skipped the install because I got kind of confused and the footage wasn't very good. It was real easy to install. You download the Logitech app and then Logitech does the rest. It was really, really easy. If you don't want to do that, all you have to do on the install, just click on your start button or click on the command, open up settings, type in Bluetooth, and then click on add Bluetooth or other device. And right at the top on Windows, it says Bluetooth mice keyboards, click on that, and it walks you through. It's really nice. Uh, number six, uh, the easy switching between computers is just amazing and I'll and I'll get to that later. Uh, number five or number six, do we skip one? Uh, easy integration. It was really simplistic to install it on both my Mac and my desktop. Number seven, battery life. It lasted 16, 17 days. And again, normally I keep it at full brightness on the keyboard because I love the glow. 
Uh, number eight, I like the size of the keyboard. Uh, to me, the size of the keyboard is really important. There are a lot of keyboards, well, that are really huge, and then some that are really tiny. I like just the full size normal keyboard. To me, that's nice. Number nine, I really like the customized keys. So you have this shortcut key that minimizes all your windows, which you saw. And then if I click it again, it puts them all back up there. And I can click this one right here, which opens up my side notification. This one minimizes. So then I can quickly uh, go to another screen. That's nice. You can quickly change the brightness, of course. That's pretty standard. Fast forward, volume buttons, mute button, nice. And then right here, you can switch between computer one, computer two, and computer three. That's really cool. Has one for calculator, one for taking screenshots. Click. That quick take quickly takes a screenshot. And you can quickly lock your computer, which I like. Anyway, and then a lot of these are customizable in addition to that. The other cool thing is, and th this is right on the edge of whether I like it or dislike it, this is both a Mac and a Windows keyboard. As you can see, there's the start button, slash command, slash alt, and then command slash alt as well. So that's good and bad. Number 11, the smart illumination. And I quickly touched upon this before, but the fact that it just quickly turns off after five seconds and then stays illuminated when you want it, and then you can quickly just turn it off during the day when you really don't need it, and that's gonna save a little bit of battery life. But again, most of the time for the, that last two weeks and change, I kept it on full brightness or level five. And the cons. Well, the illumination does not change colors. I had really hoped that it wasn't just kind of a white, I don't know what you call it. Um, yeah, I would consider that kind of a whitish blue light. I, I wanted the ability to change it orange, maybe red, maybe blue, maybe green. There are some gaming laptops that do that in the same price range. Maybe that's not your cup of tea. Number two, it's not an ergo keyboard, but at that same time, it is really comfortable to type on. Number three, as much as I do like the pressure, I wish there was a way to adjust the pressure. That would be pretty cool. Logitech, uh, Logi design team. If you're watching this, if you could add that to the MX Keys 4 for next year. And number four, the battery charging indicator could be easier. Uh, when I was filming that video last night, trying to show you what the body, battery percentage was, it really wasn't that intuitive. And I think it should have updated a little faster, in my opinion. That, that's just my opinion. I mean, if you disagree, let me know. And number five, the battery life warning, you know, day after day, I just kept on going, kept on going, and then boom, 5%, and then it was almost dead. I would have liked a warning at 10%. And number six, the price tag, $100 is kind of steep. I don't know that I would have bought that unless I got the money from work to purchase it. And anyone from work you were watching, I did pair it to my Mac, but I don't use it for, I just did it for a quick test. I use this on my work laptops. And that leads me to one more positive thing that's probably my favorite feature, and it goes with the switching, but they call it the, the workflow. They call it flowing across multiple computers, and uh, I brought out the box, so I remember to talk to you about that. So let's take a field trip, and we'll wrap up this video. Okay, here goes nothing. Here's the, uh, the flow test, which I call it. And here we go. So I click number one. I'm on this computer right here, typing away. Click number two, and now I'm on the Mac. Testing, I can click and switch between apps. And, sorry, I need to wake it up. And computer number three. Now I'm typing on this one. I can do the Alt tab. It's, it's that quick, and then I can go back to number one, type in some more. And there you go, it's, it's amazing how quick the keyboard quickly switches between each of these three, even though it's all Bluetooth. And yes, it is 2021, 
This is 2019 technology. This laptop's from 2017, and I think this one's a year old. So it's not that I can have a brand new keyboard with brand new hardware. That, that's not the case at all. It, it impressed me. I, I didn't understand if it would really work, and, and it does. It just quickly hot swap. They call it the flow and it does. It just flows across multiple devices. And uh, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I, do I recommend the keyboard? Yes, I do. I think if it did a couple more things, $90 would be a better price point for this. You can get them open box through Amazon and Best Buy and other places for probably 80 or 70. I would check there first and then just wipe it down with Clorox. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great keyboard. I look forward to, forward to using it for the next three years. It does come with a three-year warranty, which is great from Logitech. And uh, it's probably my favorite portable wireless keyboard that I've used to date. Uh, maybe I should try more keyboards, but I think I'll stick to mostly watches. There you go. And any pithy comments, type those down below. Don't forget the modified mantra, gadgets mean something and gadgets mean nothing at all. Let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. Here we go, ready?